perspectives, many people are choosing to stay inside. Yeah, and many, but not all. Let's check in with Wayne 15's Rachel Russell to see what she found when she ventured outside. Yeah, Dirk and Tara, there were definitely some people out there willing to brave the cold. I talked to a few of them on this below zero day to see how they're braving the winter blast. Driving down the road today, there were less cars than normal. And anyone who was braving the cold was bundled up. But I decided to try a place I did see people at, the Starbucks drive through I expected it to be a lot slower than we are. We're not as busy as we usually are, but yeah. A warm drink could be a necessity on a day like today. This is bizarre. Like, it's so cold outside. But for the workers at the drive through window... Just been holding, like, people's hot coffees all day long. It's, it's keeping me warm, so it's okay. Next stop, the bus station. If you need public transportation on a day like today, staying warm is top priority. Here, I met Stephen, who is heading south to get out of the cold. I'm going back to Memphis. I was out here working. I'm going to come back about three more weeks. Work. He has a 15-hour bus ride ahead of him and says he just hopes the bus is warm. I ain't never, I ain't never been in this weather like this. This is bad weather. Well, the, the, most, the most that I didn't feel was like, 15 degrees, not below with the, with the minus, you know, this is too much. But overall, people are thankful the buses are running today. Less than normal, of course. Um, a lot of places are closed. Uh, a lot of people still have to get to work that use our access service as well. So uh, um, we're, we're uh, you know, I think people are, are grateful that we're still operating. We'll be continuing our coverage on the cold weather, and as always, check the Wayne Weather app or Wayne.com for the latest. In Studio 15, Rachel Russell, Wayne 15 News.